Yeah, uh, so today I want to share some of my recent, uh, recent story about the satellite maps. I started to check this out uh, like last year and I find that satellite map is quite interesting. Can you go to the next slide, please? So the first question is, I think most of us might have already used the satellite image like Google map or other type of maps. So if I want to buy a house, uh, can you go to the next, please? So I can check the satellite, map, uh, satellite maps to see the size of the house, uh, next please. And the neighborhood, next please. And the highway accessibility, like the traffic. So uh, actually in the satellite map, there are quite a lot of information that we can get. And uh, nowadays, there are multiple ways we can do that. Uh, for example, if we go to search, uh, search a location, we can zoom in and say there might be crosswalk like this. And next, please. I like the media. The next, please. Uh, and also, sometimes we can also say traffic signal or traffic poor. Uh, so there are also quite multiple uh, existing platforms very useful, like Google Earth Engine. We can extract the satellite image using different year. So if uh, if I want to train a geo AI by myself uh, and extract such kind of data, so you might consider how to do that. So the first one you can download the image in the uh, same size and uh, train a model and uh, uh, and uh, extract the GIS data and finally clean the data. So if you have a model like this, the Geo AI model can automatically tell you uh, in the image if it has a crosswalk or have a different thing. And that you can also locate them back, up, back to the map. So that's the final result. Next, please. So uh, here's a short story about the uh, trial I made. Uh, this is the zebra cross uh, used the, the model. So identified to the map. So we can say it's quite interesting and quite good. And next please. And sometimes they are non-zebra like the zebra uh, two parallel the way uh, it can also be labeled. So I, I'm just show you one possible way to extract something. Uh, so that's the zebra or crosswalk. You can also uh, do similar type of model to identify different thing, anything you are interested. So uh, next please. So in this way, uh, uh, next again. <laughs> so in this way, we can have a way to let computer help us do some work. So uh, one way, one reason, uh, one reason this well, this work is useful is if you uh, sometimes for traffic uh, transportation engineering, if they are going to collect some data using some LiDAR vehicle, it's quite expensive uh, drive on the road. And also if you want to review them manually, like you search Google uh, each time, it's also time consuming. And uh, 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 next please. So uh, the last one I want to mention is, I think our day, okay, is time off? Yes. <laughs> okay. okay. Yeah, uh, your, your sentence conclude, please, thanks. Okay, so to conclude, I think nowadays we are need more information like the high resolution map like this. Traditional one is just a line. Nowadays we need multiple things. That's it. Thank you.